Welcome back again, dear students, grade nine. Today, guys, we will start with a new lesson four, chapter five, similar triangles. We have three cases. One, angle, angle, similarity. Two, side, 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 similarity. And number three, side, angle, side, similarity. Let me start, guys. As you see, we have two triangles, ABC and DEF. And we are discussing angle angle similarity. Before we start, guys, with number one, angle angle similarity, let me define, yes, the word similarity. Similarity of two triangles means they are the same shape. They are both triangles, but they can be different in size. As you see here, these two triangles, ABC and DEF, both of them are triangles, but they are different in size. So, as you see, guys, these triangles ABC and DEF are different in size, but they are triangles. So, this is the meaning of similarity. What does angle-angle say? If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then these triangles are similar. Again, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then these triangles are similar. Actually, in these triangles ABC and DF, we have A and D are congruent angles, B and E are congruent angles. If you go here, yes, it's clear that angle A and angle D are congruent, angle B with angle E are congruent angles, and this is obvious that also angle C will be congruent to angle F. So here it says that from one and two, it's obvious that also you will have that C and F are congruent angles. So these two triangles are what are similar. Let me go to case two, side, side, side similarity. Again, we have A, B, C and D, F. Let me see what does side, side, side say. If three sides of one triangle are proportional to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then these triangles are similar. So we have AB over DE equal AC over DF equal to BC over EF. Again, if three sides of one triangle are proportional to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then these triangles are similar. That means AB over DE is equal to AC over DF is equal to BC over EF. As we were here, so you will ask Mr. What's the meaning of corresponding sides? Yes, you are right guys. That means AB with DE, AC with DF, and BC with EF. So again, AC with DF, and DE with AB and BC with EF. So you will say AB over DE, that means AB over DE, the red one with the red one, with AC with DF, AC, the blue one with the blue one, DF, yes, and BC with EF, BC, that means the green one with the green one, EF, for this the same corresponding sides. Let me continue, guys, here. So, or we can say, yes, or we can say DE over AB, or DF over AC, or EF over BC. So you are free. What you will do is the same. Either you will say this one over this one, or this one over this one. But if you start with this triangle, you will continue the same. That means you can say AB over DE, then you will say DF over AC. No, it is wrong. So if you start from this triangle, continue on this triangle. So you will say AB over DE, then equal to AC over DF, then you will finish with equal to BC over EF. Or if you want to start with the small one, okay, continue on the small one. That means, so you will say DE over AB equal to DF over AC and finish with equal EF with BC. So either you will go from left to right or from right to left. So either you will say AB over DE equal AC over DF equal BC over EF or 
you can do it in this way. You will say DE over AB equal DF over AC equal EF over BC. That means maybe in that case, yeah, maybe you will get 3 over 4, the, yes, we call it similarity ratio. So if here it is 2 over 3, so obvious here what you will get, you will get 3 over 2 is the same, no problem. So we can say that these two triangles, ABC and DF are what? Are, yes, are similar. Now go to the last case, side, angle side, similarity. As we see here, here, guys, we have again ABC and DF, and it's look like that angle B and angle E are what? Are congruent, okay? So we have ABC and DF these two triangles. So guys, what does side angle side say? If two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle and their included angles are congruent, then these two triangles are what are similar. Guys, included angle is so, so important. Let me go back to this. Mister, what do you mean by included angle? Yes, you are right, guys. For example, because we have angle B, so it's important to take AB and BC. Yes, you are right. If this is the angle, this is what we call it included angle. Yes, if you are focusing on angle B, so for sure you will take AB and BC. So this is the angle included between AB and BC. If if you will take, for example, not B, if you will take angle A, so this means, in this case, if you are focusing on angle A, so you will take A, B, and A, C. So it's important about included angles, and you know these things, you know them. Guys, yes, since you are where? In grade 8 and maybe in grade 7. So guys, here we have to say that included angle, yes, angle B between AB and BC and included angle ED with EF. So again, this postulate side angle side say, if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle, so here for sure, he will take AB with DE and he will take BC with EF, we will not take AC with DA because we don't care about these two sides. We are caring about AB and DE or ED and BC with EF. And it says that, yes, and their include angles are congruent. He means by that angle B and angle E. Yes, guys. So this is the idea. So angle B with angle E are congruent. AB with DE, uh, as you see guys, I told you, he will take AB with DE and he will take BC with EF, yes, BC with EF, does he take AC or DF, no, yes guys, you are clever, so we will take this with this and this with this and beside that these two, what, these two angles are congruent, so again, let me repeat this postulate, it says, B and E are, yes, are congruent, and, and, yes, and AB over DE equal BC over EF, that means they are what? They are proportional. So guys, of course, if you have these two angles are congruent, and AB over DE equal to BC over EF, it means they are proportional, so for sure that these two, what, these two triangles are similar by using side angle sides, yes, it is written here, we can say that these two triangles are similar. To prove ourselves, let me go, guys, and to review examples in your book. We have example one on page 198, yes. As you see, guys, this, uh, this shape, yes, it's beautiful shape. First of all, guys, I want to mention something. If you see in any example or in any exercise, this symbol, yes, the cursor, it's in this way. That means for sure that these two sides are parallel. Yes, guys, look, I circle them on RS and PT. Look what I wrote. It means that PT and SR are what? Are parallel. This is so important and you will 
see why this is important. So guys, in any exercise or any example, if you see something like that, like this symbol or cursor on this, for sure it is given that, look, I wrote it's given that PT and SR, they are what they are, parallel lines. And if you focus, guys, we have two triangles. Yes, you can call them P, Q, T, S, Q, R, or you can call them R, Q, S, and T, Q, P, whatever. So we have this triangle and this triangle. And for sure, he will ask if these two triangles are what are similar. So he said, explain why these two triangles, as I told you, P, Q, T, and R, Q, S, P, Q, T, and S, Q, R are what are similar by using angle, angle, postulate. Look, as I told you, I will use this. This will help me. So number one, P, T, and S, R are parallel. I know from these symbols, yes. And if you remember, guys, yes, it's clear that the line T, S, yes, the line T, S is a transversal. Excellent. So the line T, S is a transversal, cuts these two lines, P, T, and S, R. As you see, this line, yes, this line ST cuts PT and SR. Yes, you are. You are right. So what we have, we have guys that angle P and angle R are congruent and angle T and angle S are congruent and we call them alternate interior angles. Again, guys, yes, you are right. Where is that angle? Angle P and angle R angle P and angle R, yes, angle P and angle R and angle S and angle T, they are what they are congruent. As, as you see, we say that angle P with angle R and angle S with angle T. So two angles from this triangle and two angles from another triangle, yes, P, Q, T and S, Q, R. So for sure, these two, uh, these two triangles are what are? similar so it's written here guys so we have two angles of triangle pqt which are p and t angles p and t are congruent to two angles of the other triangle rqs and which are s and r so these two triangles pqt and rqs are similar by using angle angle postulate now let me go guys to go to example two on page 199 Part A, write the similarity ratio and show that these two angles are congruent. P R Q, P R Q, this one, with P S R, P S R. So he wants to prove that or to show to him that these two angles are what are congruent. So, guys, before we start, to do part A, obviously you will ask, Mister, which postulate will have to use as he's asking about similarity ratio? Is it side, 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 or side, angle, side? Guys, it is easy to figure that we will use side, side, side postulate as we have the length sides of triangles, PQR and PRS. So we will have to show him PQ over PR for sure we call them corresponding sides. PQ over PR, it must be equal to QR over RS equal to PR over PS. So why we will use side, side, side? Because as you see guys here, we don't have here any angles. Only we have sides, four, six, three, 4.59, so for sure we will use side, side, side postulate and we will not use side, angle, side. So whatever you will do now, you will just copy these side lengths on the proportional. That means you will write PQ over PR equal QR over RS and you will put PR over PS. So after you will copy these side lengths from here, you will write them here. So what you will find? You will find that PQ over PR equal four over six. And of course, yes, you will divide by two and you will get two over three. Then you will go to QR over RS. It will be three over 4.5 times 10. You will get 30 over 45 divided by 15 and you will get two over three. So guys, again, PQ over PR equal to four over six. You will divide by two. 
and you will get uh, 4 divided by 2, 2, 6 divided by 2, 3, so you will get 2 over 3. Again, you will put 3 over 4.5 for QR and RS, and you multiply by 10, you will get 30 over 35. Again, we have common factor divided by 15, divided by 15, you will get again 2 over 3, and the last one, you will put PR or PS, 6 over 9 divided by 3, and you will get 2 over 3. So, guys, we have what we want, we get 2 over 3 on all yes these cases so as you see guys 2 over 3 equal 2 over 3 equal 2 over 3 this one is for this one yes you are right so these two triangles pqr and prs are similar by using side 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 postulate and similarity ratio is 2 over 3 maybe some of you will ask me mister if you will put the opposite if you say PR over PQ, RS over QR, PS over PR, so what? You will get the similarity ratio 3 over 2, no problem. The important thing is that we have the same similarity ratio for all these cases. Now, how to show that the other part? Now, this is the important part, guys. Now, he wants from you to prove to him or to show to him that these angles are what are congruent now you will see your teacher he will do more than this he will do all the cases yes you are right so to show that these two angles are congruent again this angle with this angle yes i will explain to you all the cases not only prq with psr just focus with me guys yes it is so important focus with me guys what i will do yes we will go to the proportional that we know what this one is again is this one yes so that means i will copy this i will write it here again yes so focus with me guys pq over pr qr over rs pr over ps now i will take each one alone so first of all i will start with pq with pr so pq with pr so what i did i separate these two yes these two triangles pqr and prs and i put them in this way guys i didn't do anything just i separate these two triangles and i put them in this again we have pqr and we have prs look on me guys here you have pq this is the pq Again, I said I didn't do anything, just only I separate these two triangles, PQR and PRS, and I put them in this way. So, PQR and PRS, and of course, PR is the common side between these two, so don't be surprised. PR, we have it here, and we have it here. So, now, the first one we have PQ over PR, PQ over PR. So, this is the PQ, and this is the PR. Now, focus what i will do you will yes you will yes you will focus on the angle opposite to these sides so of course you know what the meaning of the opposite so of course angle r is opposite to the side pq and angle s is opposite to the side pr again you will put pq and you will put PR, and now you will go to the angle opposite to these sides. So, R is the angle opposite to PQ, and S is the angle opposite to PR. Yes. So, from the first case, PQ over PR, PQ over PR, look what I will have. I have that. PRQ, this is what he wants in the question. So, PRQ, PRQ, look. P, R, Q, and P, S, R, what they are, they are congruent. Excellent. This is the idea, guys. So this is what he wants, but we will continue for the others. We can prove all the other three angles. So for the first one, P, Q over P, R. Yes, after we mentioned the angles opposite to these sides. So we have P, R, Q, and P, S, R again. PRQ, the angle PRQ, and the angle PSR, PSR are what? Are congruent. Excellent. These two angles are congruent. Now, let me continue. Again, you will write the same triangles 
PQR and PRS and now we will take the other case QR over RS QR QR over RS again guys now QR this is a QR and RS this is RS now yes so the angle yes the angle P is opposite to this side and angle P is opposite to this side so what do we have yes excellent guys so we have the angle QPR and RPS are what? Are congruent or maybe you can call them another way. So angle RPQ and angle SPR are congruent from this case. As we say guys, for the second case, QR over RS, QR, QR over RS. So it is written here that the angles QPR, yes, QPR and RPS and RPS are what? Are congruent. We have the last case. We will go and continue. The last one is PR over PS. Again, PR over PS. Yes, this is the last case. PR of PS. Again, you will draw the triangles. Again, PQR and PRS. Now, PR, this is PR, and PS, this is PS, and again, so angle Q is opposite to this side, angle R is opposite to this side, so of course, obviously, that means the angle PQR and PRS are congruent, or the angles RQP and SRP, they are congruent, it is written here, PQR, 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 and PRS, PRS are congruent. So as you see, guys, we show the, all the cases. Yes, not only the one that he's asking. The first one is the one that he's asking. PRQ with PSR. PRQ, if you remember, where is it, guys? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, guys. PRQ with PSR, but we mention all the cases, not only the case that he's asking. So I show to you that if these two triangles are similar, so we have the angles PRQ and PSR are congruent, QPR with RPS are congruent, and PQR and PRS are what? Are congruent. Yes, in this case, we mention all the cases. So as we wrote here, we prove the three cases, not only the one that he asked for. So I wish, guys, as to improve to yourself, do for me. Uh, questions on page 120 exercises from number one to number eight so by this as we start we finish uh, most of the what is the, in lesson four in chapter five so guys do this for me uh, to improve yourself on page 200 in your book these exercises from number one and number eight i love you so much guys again welcome back again dear students grade nine now we finish and I will see you for next videos. Bye. Bye, guys.